हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर वन नंबर सो लेट्स लुक एट सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स डेट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक लार्ज नंबर्स इन अर्लियर क्लासेज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन बट इन आवर डेली लाइफ वी कम अक्रॉस डिफरेंट सिचुएशन वेयर वी नीड लार्ज नंबर्स लेट सी सम एग्जाम फर्स्ट The cost of an LED TV is 24000 rupees. Here 24000 is a five digit number. Second, the cost of a car is 864000 rupees. Here 864000 is a six digit number. It is very easy to understand the large if we understood the number system properly in earlier classes. Let's read about five digit numbers here. Five digit numbers. We know that 9999 is the largest four digit number. When we add one more to it, we get a five digit number that is 1 lakh. It is read as 10000. When we add one more to it, we get a five digit number that is 10000. It is read as 10000. It is the smallest five digit number. In the place value chart, fifth place from the right is called Ten thousands place, as you can see here. Hence, called the ten thousands place. Hence, the five digit numbers start from ten thousand and go up to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Six digit number. The largest five digit number is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. When we add one more to it, we get a six digit number that is one lakh and read as one lakh. In place value chart, the sixth place from the right is called lakh. as you can see here hence the six digit numbers start from 1 lakh and go up to 9 lakh 99999 seven digit number the largest six digit number is 9 lakh 99999 when we add one more to it we get a seven digit number that is 10 lakh read as 10 lakh in the place value chart the seventh place from the right is called 10 lakh and see here reading numbers for the convenience of reading and writing large numbers separate the digit of the number to group called period as we can see first period ones has three places ones tens and hundreds second period thousands has two places thousands and 10000 third period lakhs also has two places lakhs and 10 lakhs in fact all periods except the ones period have two places only while reading a number Digits in a period are read together. Look at the examples given below that will help us to read and write large numbers. The number 7,56,528 is written as 7,56,528. The number 7,56,528 is written as 7,56,528 and is read as 7,56,528. The number 34287 is written as 34287 and is read as 34287 now look at the table which represents some large numbers in the place value chart along with their representation on a backus some smart tips the ones period has three places 100 tens and ones the thousand period has two places 10000 and 1000 the lakhs period has two places 10 lakhs and lakhs place value and face value the place value let's start a new topic that is place value and face value now we are going to learn about some concepts regarding place value and face value the place value of a digit in a given number is it is its value due to its place or position in the number place value of a digit is equal to face value of the digit into value of the place face value of a digit in a number is the digit itself place value and face value of zero is always zero wherever it may be expanded form now let's learn about expanded form and standard form expanded form means writing a number as sum of the place values of its digits so students here is our next example in this example write 659824 that is 659824 in the expanded form so basically we have to write this number in the expanded form so we'll start from our first step that is writing the place value of each and every digit of the given number so let's start So, our starting from our right hand side that is our last digit that is 4. So, to find the place value writing its face value and multiplying it with 1, we get 4. Similarly, for 2, face value into 
place value 28 writing the face value of 8 is 8 and multiplying it with value of that place that is 100 as 8 comes in hundreds column so we get 800 similarly 9 9 into thousands we get 9000 then 5 then we have our next digit as 5 face value of 5 is 5 and place value or the value of that place is 10,000 we get 50,000 and finally our last digit is 6 and its place value is lakhs column so multiplying it with 1 lakh we get 6 lakh so we have got our all the place value of each and every digit in the given number now we will write these digits in the addition form so writing we'll start from the biggest or the with the place value of the digit in the largest place value column that is six six lakh plus our next is fifty thousand plus 9000 basically we are adding all the place value one by one in upward direction plus after 9000 we have 800 plus 20 plus 4 so this is our expanded form of the given number so i hope students now you're familiar how to find the expanded form of a given number comparing numbers to find the greater or smaller number we follow these steps if number of digits in two numbers are different then number with more digits is greater if number if number of digits in two numbers are same then to compare numbers compare their digits from left to right that is from the highest place value to ones if the digits at a place are equal compare the digits at the next place on the right so students this is our next example in, in this example let's see what we have to do so let's read compare to compare 22002 and 2299 so we are given two numbers and we have to compare the two numbers we have to find out which one is greater and which one is smaller so to to, to do that first we will write both the numbers so let's start so let's start writing both the numbers first and our second number is so our first step would be to count the number of digits in both the numbers so let's start counting the digits in our first number so here the number of digits are one two three four five so i will write five digits similarly for our second number the number of digits are one two three and four so i will write four digits so here the number of digits are greater than the number of digits in other number so i must say here 5 is greater than 4 so we will write that this number is greater than this number so we'll put a greater than sign to indicate that this number is greater than this number i hope students you are familiar how to find and you have understood how to compare the two numbers using counting their number of digits whenever we have a question where the number of digits are different we can compare them by counting their number of digits okay then now moving on to our next example and let's see what is new ordering of numbers numbers can either be arranged in an ascending order that is increasing order or in descending order that is decreasing order in ascending order numbers are arranged from the smallest to the greatest and in descending order numbers are arranged from the greatest to the smallest so students we have learned what is an ascending order now we will arrange all the four numbers in ascending order so first step is to calculate the number of digits in each and every number so first of all i will calculate the number of digits in first number there are one two three four five okay now looking for the number of digits in my second number one two three four five here also i have five digits whereas in my third number also there are five digits but in my fourth number there are only four digits so i can say this is the smallest and now i need to compare only the three numbers so since we have equal number of digits so 
In a previous example, we have learned when the number of digits are equal, we try to compare them with their place values, that is with the greatest place value. So, first of all, let's write them in a place value chart. So students, let's look at our first example. In this example, we have to arrange the numbers, there are four numbers in ascending order. As I have already told you, ascending order means to arrange the numbers in increasing order. So let's first try to count, let's first try to count the number of digits in each number. So from our first number, we get number of digits is equal to 5. There are 5 digits in our first number. In our second number, there are 5 digits and our third number also, there are 5 digits. But our fourth number has only four digits. So we can say our smallest number is our last number. So, so this will be our first number. So now we have to compare only these three numbers having equal number of digits. As I already told you, when the number of digits are equal, we compare the numbers using the place value chart by comparing the highest place value column. So let's, so, the three numbers are to be placed in the given circles and while arranging in ascending order we have to place the equality sign equality sign that is less than so now comparing the three numbers using our place value chart so let's draw a place value chart this is ones column tens hundreds thousands ten thousand and lakhs column so now we will compare the three three numbers by placing them in our place value chart. So first of all we will place all the digits of our first number starting from the last that is 6 then 7 in tens column then 8 in hundreds column 5 in thousands column and 7 in ten thousands column. Now second digit second number and the last digit is 6 in tens column it is 8 then 7 in hundreds column 5 and again 7 and our third number last digit is 8 in tens column it is 6 7 not 6 it is 5 so students let's look at our example number 1 in this example arrange the numbers 75,876 75,786 75,768 and 7,587 in ascending order so basically we are given four numbers and we have to arrange all these numbers in ascending order ascending order means arranging the numbers in increasing order so first of all counting the number of digits we can see that our fourth number has only four digits whereas other three numbers have five digits so we can say our smallest number is our fourth number so we can place our fourth number as our first digit now we need to compare our rest three numbers as the number of digits in all the three numbers are equal that is five so to compare these numbers we need to place all the digits of each and every number in place value chart so let's look at place value chart and compare them from the biggest place value column so here the biggest place value column is 10,000 column and you can clearly see that in 10,000 column we have all the numbers same so we cannot compare the values similarly on moving from 10,000 to thousands column we can see the number of digits are same that is 5 still we cannot compare the numbers now moving on to one next place value column that is hundreds column we can see that the largest value is 8 so we can say this is our largest number so we can say this is the largest number or we can say this is the greatest number so greatest number will come in our last that is seven five eight seven six now we only need to compare the rest two numbers so moving on to tens column we have eight and six so eight is greater than six so this number is great so our second number is greater than the third number so we can say our second largest number is seven five seven eight six and the remaining we get seven five seven six eight so in this way we have arranged all the four numbers in ascending order successor and predecessor of a number 
successor of a number. The successor of a number is one more than the number. So we have to add one to the number to get its successor. For example, successor of 4,57,126 is 4,57,126 plus 1, which is equal to 4,57,127. Similarly, successor of 14,576 is 14,576 plus 1, which is equal to 14,577. Predecessor of a number. The predecessor of a number is 1 less than the number. So we have to subtract 1 from the number to get its predecessor. For example, predecessor of 50,640 is 50,640 minus 1, which is equal to 50,639. Predecessor of 10,000 is 10,000 minus 1, which is equal to 9,999. Forming numbers. To form the smallest number, we arrange the given digits in ascending order. To form the greatest number, we arrange the given digits in descending order. While forming the smallest number if zero is among, while forming the smallest number if zero is among the digits, it is placed at the second place after the smallest digit. So students, let's look at our first example. So let's look from the greatest and the smallest five digit numbers using the digits 2, 4, 0, 9 and 5. So using these five digits we have to form the greatest five digit number and the smallest five digit number. So first of all we will form a greatest number. So to form the greatest number what we need to do we need to arrange the numbers in the increasing towards decreasing order from the left hand side that is the greatest digit in the greatest place value column and the smallest digit in the least place value column so here we have greatest digit that is 9 so from our left hand side we place the greatest digit first so our first digit it is 9 then after 9 the greatest digit is 5 then after 5 we have 4 then 2 and at last it is 0 so this is our greatest 5 digit number so now moving on to our smallest so to form the smallest number now we need to do what we did in the previous so to form the smallest number we need to do opposite of what we did in the greatest number so in the greatest number we place greatest digit first and moving towards the least digit so in the smallest number we need to place the smallest digit first but in this case one thing to be kept in mind is that we can never keep zero at first place because if we keep a zero then it becomes a four digit number so except zero which is our smallest among the five among the rest four the smallest digit is two now we can place a zero then after the rest four zero then the rest three the smallest is four then five and at last nine which is the greatest so this is the smallest five digit number so i hope students you understood one thing to be kept in mind that we never place a zero at the first place because it makes our digit a four digit number so except that in the second place we can place a zero except for the first place we can place zero at the second place so now we can see that the greatest number is 95,420 and our smallest five digit number is 20,459 so i hope students it is clear to you how to find the greatest and the smallest number using the given digits estimation Palak went to a music concert and could see large number of people in the auditorium. When her parents asked how many people are, how many people were there, she said maybe few thousands. Smart tip: estimation means making a fair guess about number. It is also called approximation. In our daily life, we come across several situations like this, where we have to guess or estimate numbers to nearest ten hundred or thousand while you can do the approximation or estimation roughly in day-to-day -day situation there are certain rules to be followed let's learn about these rules 
rounding off number to the nearest 10. To round off a given number to the nearest 10, we find out the multiple of 10 which is nearest to the given number. For example, consider the numbers 22 and 29. Both the numbers lie between 20 and 30. Let us draw a number line and locate these numbers. As you can see, on the number line, 22 is nearer to 20, so we round off 22 to 20. On the number line, 29 is nearer to 30, so we round off 29 to 30. Thus, the rules to round a number to the nearest 10 are as follows. If the digit at 1's place is less than 5, then replace the 1's digit by 0 and keep the other digits same as they are. If the digit at 1's place is 5 or greater than 5, then replace the 1's digit by 0 and increase the 10's digit by 1. So students, let's look at our next example. Example number 1, round off each of the following numbers to the nearest 10. So in this example, we have to round off the numbers to the nearest 10. So first of all, I'll tell you how to round off the numbers to the nearest 10. So to round off the number, first we need to look the digit at the ones place. If the digit at the ones place is less than 5, then we replace the digit with a 0. That is, the digit at one's place is replaced by a zero and rest of the number remains same if the digit at one's place is less than five. Basically, if the digit at one's place is equal to five or greater than five, then we need to replace the digit at one's place with zero and whereas the digit at tens place increases by one. So, let's take a look at our example first. That is, we are given 47 so we need to write the round of number to the nearest 10 of 47 so as you can see the digit at one's place is say of 7 and 7 is greater than 5 so what I've told you if the number at one's place is greater than 5 so we need to replace the number at one's place with 0 so instead of 47 we will get 0 and the number at tens place increases by 1 that is 50 so our round off number is 50 so i hope you have understood how to round off the number if the digit at one's place is greater than 5 so now take a look at example number 2 that is part b of example first there the number is 924 but we need to look only for the digit at one's place that is 4 so here the digit so here as the digit at one's place is 4 and 4 is less than 5 so we need to replace only 4 with a 0 that is our round of number becomes 920 so i hope you have understood how to round off a number to the nearest 10 what we need to look for is the number at one's place like in the two examples a and b so you have understood how to round off the number to the nearest 10 so now take a look at our next example rounding off numbers to the nearest hundred to round off a given number to the nearest hundred we find out multiple of hundred which is nearest to the given number for example consider the numbers 723 and 779 both the numbers lie between 700 and 800. Let us draw a number line to locate these numbers. As you can see here, on the number line, 723 is nearer to 700. So we round off 723 to 700. On the number line, 779 is nearer to 800. So we round off 779 to 800. Thus, the rules for rounding of a number to the nearest hundred are as follows. If the digit at tens place is less than 5, replace ones and tens digit by 0 and keep the other digits as they are. If the digit at tens place is 5 or greater than 5, increase the hundreds digit by 1 and replace the tens and ones digit by 0. So students, let's look at our first example. So let's look from the greatest and the smallest five digit numbers using the digits 2, 4, 0, 9 and 5. So using these five digits we have to form a greatest five digit number and a smallest 
five digit number so first of all we will form a greatest number so to form the greatest number what we need to do we need to arrange the numbers in the increasing towards decreasing order from the left hand side that is the greatest digit in the greatest place value column and the smallest digit in the least place value column so here we have greatest digit that is 9 so from our left hand side we place the greatest digit first so our first digit it is 9 then after 9 the greatest digit is 5 then after 5 we have 4 then 2 and at last it is 0 so this is our greatest 5 digit number so now moving on to our smallest so to form the smallest number now we need to do what we did in the previous so to form the smallest number we need to do opposite of what we did in the greatest number so in the greatest number we placed greatest digit first and moving towards the least digit so in the smallest number we need to place the smallest digit first but in this case one thing to be kept in mind that we can never keep zero at first place because if we keep a zero then it becomes a four digit number so except zero which is our smallest among the five among the rest four the smallest digit is two now we can place a zero then after the rest four zero then the rest three the smallest is four then five and at last nine which is the greatest so this is the smallest five digit number so I hope students you understood one thing to be kept in mind that we never place a zero at the first place because it makes our digit a four digit number. So except that in the second place we can place a zero except for the first place we can place zero at the second place. So now we can see that the greatest number is 95,420 and our smallest five digit number is 20,459. So I hope students it is clear to you how to find the greatest and the smallest number using the given digits. Rounding numbers to the nearest thousand. To round off a given number to the nearest thousand, we find out the multiple of thousand which is nearest to the given number. For example, Consider the numbers 8250 and 8750. Both the numbers lie between 8000 and 9000. Let us draw a number line and locate these numbers. On the number line, 8250 is nearer to 8000. So we round off 8250 to 8000. On the number line, 8750 is nearer to 9000. Thus, the rules for rounding of a number to the nearest thousand are as follows. If the digit at hundreds place is less than 5, replace the digits at hundreds, tens and ones place by 0 and keep all the other digits as they are. If the digit at hundreds place is 5 or greater than 5, increase the digit at thousands place by 1 and replace the other digits. And replace the digits at hundreds, tens and ones place by 0. Roman numerals Numerals are used to represent numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 are Hindu Arabic numerals. Roman numerals is other system of writing numbers. It has 7 basic symbols that is I for 1, V for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500, M for 1000. It has no place value system and it has no symbol for zero. We have learned reading and writing Roman numerals up to 20 in the previous class. Let us extend the system to read and write up to 100. Rules for forming Roman numerals Rule 1. Repetition of a Roman numeral means addition. For example, here there are 3x, x, x, x which is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10 as x denotes 10 which is equal to 30 so 3 i's is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 now 2 x x x is equal to 10 plus 10 equals to 20 rule 2 a smaller numeral written to the right of a larger numeral is always added to the larger numeral for example x i i 
is equal to 10 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 12. Similarly, xv is equal to 10 plus 5 equals to 15. Lx is equal to 50 plus 10 equals to 60. Rule 3, a smaller numeral written to the left of a larger numeral is always subtracted from the larger numeral. For example, ix is equal to 10 minus 1 equals to 9. xl is equal to 50 minus 10 equals to 40. xc is equal to 100 minus 10 equals to 90. Rule 4. When a smaller numeral is placed between two larger numerals, then it is always subtracted from the larger numeral immediately following it. For example, xxiv is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 1 in brackets equals to 24. xix is equal to 10 plus in brackets 10 minus 1 is equal to 10 plus 9 10 plus 9 equals to 19. Smart tip. Only I, X, C, M can be repeated. V, L and D cannot be repeated and cannot be subtracted. No symbol can be repeated more than three times. X can be subtracted from L and C only. C can be subtracted from D and M only.